All right. Uh, good evening there and good morning from New York. Can I see my panelist uh, also on the screen on one side or no? Okay. So, uh, so I think uh, we got our key faculty and uh, welcome uh, to this uh, master class series from Boston Scientific on uh, tre treating the calcific lesions and we have live case presentation from Mount Sinai Hospital and then we'll have a lot of uh, uh, like four or five lectures. And in the conclusion, I'll uh, give data, actually the concept of the Rotacut trial, which we just started. And we have two patients today, actually, uh, for that. Uh, if everybody okay, we start the case. So this is our learn from the master series case number three. Now, this is the interesting case because there's a lot coming now, patients who have a tower. So this is the patient because we have a lot of requests, both our CCC live and my, our other activities which we have been doing uh, in India. The patient's post tower, how to deal with it. And we know it's a very challenging scenario and particularly if it is a self-expanding valve, less with the balloon expandable because coronaries are above. So this is a 71-year-old patient who had a known CAD, had a bypass surgery in the past, and had a dyspnea as well as angina and positive stress test and found to have severe AS. So we did a cath and a P, uh, the tower on him uh, in uh, February 2nd, and that time angiogram was done. Lima to LED is patent, other grafts uh, to the OM2 and diagonal were closed, but there were multiple lesions in the RCA which was never bypassed. So patient did have a sapient 3 ultra valve, uh, good ejection fraction, good medical therapy, has a residual C CVA without any residual deficit on dialysis. That's why very calcific vessel. And uh, we are here, you can see on the, we can go back to the angiogram now uh, that uh, we have taken the picture. So this is our sapien valve. Uh, the COM2 is uh, fills retrograde via collaterals, uh, the LED and there is a diagonal on the top and the right corner is the in question, but most uh, the LED fills very nicely with the lima. Yep. No. Yeah. Yep. So, we actually did not take a lima. Yeah, which picture. is fine. Yeah. yeah. This is now where this the RCA is. Yeah. So, if you can see, even before injection, you see the tram track calcium of the RCA. Yeah. No need to inject dye. So, it's moderate about 50-60% uh, in the proximal RCA. Mid to distal is okay, but at the crux, you see another 50% lesion. But majority of the disease is in a heavily calcified uh, PDA, which is moderate size. AV continuation is okay, and some mild calcium to RPL, and the third RPL, which is branching again as a 95% lesion. So it's all distal disease. Yeah. So very significant multi well multi lesion disease, calcific, and the V file that this will be the case to show more importantly, uh, in this particular case, to show that how to navigate your rota bar to the distal segment. So that is one of the important point will be uh, to show a case here. Look at the calcium even in the PDA. You before the dye comes in the entire temp track. Now question is whether proximal clearly distal will be significant whether proximal will be significant or not i think we'll decide based on the ivas so with that note uh, sanjeev and uh, i know uh, uh, shuvan and uh, ajit you tell us uh, what will be your strategy and uh, we are going to right now wire the pda because pda is the most important here the patient has inferior wall ischemia significant moderate lateral wall ischemia that is probably from that om2 and anterior wall of course was completely fine despite the diagonal graph closed so goal is to revascularize all the branches of the right coronary artery very nice case dr samin and dr anapurna uh, my question is uh, are you addressing the plb as well yeah, yeah, so I think the goal will... That is a plan. Yeah. yeah, we are going to work on uh, PDA for definite plus minus a proximal RCA depending on what the imaging will show and uh, the PVL. So yeah. for the PDA, we definitely will be doing rota and but for the RPL uh, will not be, I think rota will not reach to that level. Uh, that, like I mentioned, was moderate calcium. We could just do with the balloon and uh, strength. Yeah. That's exactly. So our goal will be that we do one of the RPL, uh, but maybe just their balloon or maybe cutting balloon if necessary, and then put a stand there. Look at this. Uh, but there is not that much calcium compared to the PDA when there is a lot of calcium there. See that? The RPL, there may be a balloon stent in that RPL 2 or so. Yeah. 
okay so now we are putting a fielder fine cross uh, into so the so in this kind of a distal uh, area you definitely should go over the wire we are using fine cross go with a workhorse we use a fielder and then change the rotor wire good i mean can you do direct rotor wire probably okay but it will take a long time uh, fluoro dye everything will be a lot of fluoro and dye will be used so instead of that this will be faster yeah. so we removed the fielder wire and we are changing it to rotor floppy in this case rotor floppy is a good wire to reach you don't need a uh, extra support will you be yeah, doing uh, uh, i was uh, before going for the rotor or yeah that's a very good point so i think what we'll do more so i was for the proximal segment so let's do the rotor of the pda and then we'll come back and do the iwas of the proximal area to see in terms of the lumen less than 3 4 mm square or more less or more to decide whether we upgrade the proximal to the 20 bar we have seven french guide and if need to be we have a 20 bar ready but you are right we are going to do iwas but we felt that iwas will be to decision making in the proximal segment because we know it's a severely calcified question comes yeah. is it significantly obstructed so that is the issue and that we will decide uh, um, with the, the sorry uh, we will decide based on the iwas the lumen cut off of same 4 uh, mm square or so so i don't know what your projection is uh, prediction in my opinion we'll find a circular calcium even proximal and the lumen will be yeah. just about 4 so that is you know i always like to predict and what you feel and sanjeev and others yeah so calcium usually uh, underestimates the severity you know angiographically <laughs> so it's better to go for with the imaging and definitely it will come out to be significant in the proximal segment too and we have seen so many the patient has a positive stress test has symptoms you bring a calcific proximal led barely 50% you do ffr really positive so all those things are important so this is the rota rota no. wire floppy drive so that's the new wire i know that uh, rota pro is available in india they still the wire have not come there yet Uh, we had to find this is a more flexible wire uh, more one to one torque uh, compared to the old design and uh, they did have definitely compromise on the strength so it's a little floppier we felt uh, sometimes a difficulty but again once you got used to it so we we are very happy with this uh, wire at present so i know rota pro has been recently introduced uh, in uh, india so this whole console you don't we don't have to use a pedal anymore everything is uh, uh, you by using the hands okay there was a question you somebody started yes doctor i think uh, this is regarding the wire uh, dr samin was telling uh, we expect the wire to reach here by end of this year but can you just elaborate a little bit more because as we all know the biggest challenge for this rot regular rotablation is actually how to manage the wire so we know that this is in collaboration with asahi wire technology yep. so can you just uh, so, tell us more about uh, so uh, what we'll do is i'll show the slide point of view. this is more of a flexible rest remain the same the tip is 0.014 spring and uh, the body is 0.009 which goes down to 0.007 at the tip uh, of uh, this rotor the wire both yeah, comes bo made of both, stainless steel both floppy as well as um, uh, the stand you know the extra support good extra support let's yeah. go there yeah and okay let's go there now give the slide of the wire this hmm. rotor floppy okay, so we did yeah testing. good test inside and we are going as you know that rotor uh, pro comes fixed with their speed of 155 outside of course you can always change it but our goal is that we 150 is good enough uh, you don't need those 180 which we used to do before and uh, still push and pull you are advancing yeah. the wire is a little bit distal yeah yeah okay. we'll pull back the make sure wires remain here yeah let's go dyna glide on this yeah yeah go okay. manual this is so now we have reached the proximal yeah. rca yeah. so if you see here because the length we are need so we could try to advance manually which is not going we'll try 1.25 yeah This is the 1.25 bar. Yeah. So now yeah. we have to show them exactly what we are doing. Yeah. This is showing the hand. They are seeing it. Yeah. Okay, you are seeing the hand. So how do we advance the bar distally? Normally, what happens proximal RCA, mid to distal RCA, there will be some disease. We'll do rotational laterectomy there, and then we'll go forward. 
but if, when we try to go manually here the guide keeps uh, coming you know comes out in that situation what will you do is very important is here your knob your knob has to be tight so you will have your 90 millimeter length to do your rotational atherectomy so once that is done it is tight we know this uh, wire stays where it is because there's a break this is the break that we have here so what we have to do is uh, Dr. Sharma is going to do a break release so when you do a break release this wire is free and then I will manually advance and if somebody part. wants to do it fixed uh, you remember it comes with that uh, 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 one second it can go into this notch but you don't need that yeah okay. good so brake is permanently pressed now so you can just go directly also but make sure that advanced knob is uh, tightened otherwise it will come back in the front and you lost all the ground so you start yeah good now advance yeah see that now i'm having some resistance you see that the guide is coming out mm. i'm holding the guide it's not going easily but that's good that's fine we stop, stop, here. stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's Wire on the dial. Wire came back. Okay. Okay. So, wire came back. So, now we had a little more challenge. Let me see if I can. Because we have to have a, on the dynamic light before wire can go further. No. This wire will not go there. It's good. How did the wire come back? One second. That is, so anytime wire comes back, you have to bring back your clip closure. Here. Sir, Dr. Kapoor has joined. Yeah, good. This is not the one. No, no, no. That's a small branch. A small branch, yeah. Now they always, remember once the bur is there, the wire movement is very much affected. The best way is always that you pull back and... Uh, Let me see. Okay. No. The moment, uh, other question is, bring the bar back into the guide again. Let's see. So only way, one second, one second, one second. We have to bring back the bar. Because once you have bar in the vessel, your movement of wire will be very, very limited. Go. Get the fine tool. Yeah. Good. Leave it there. Now, let's try one. Otherwise, we just go with the same uh, thing quickly. In this one, just I can put a wire, fine cross on this uh, wire and advance into the right place. Came out. No. Yeah. So, so that always will remain the issue. I think it takes less time. Yep. Let's go. Okay. Take it out. Yep. Okay. Um, Can take out the whole thing? Yeah. Take take out the whole thing. There's no purpose of that. Oh, there is a problem. Wire is stuck. Huh? Okay. So now this one, I think we can just put a fine cross on this our existing rotor wire and go back in. Yeah. So we try not to use uh, rotor wire and the fine cross because of uh, uh, interaction. Because you need to still manipulation. So usually we'll go with a work through wire, a workhorse wire. This is unusual that how uh, wire came back. I think we've been advancing. Thanks. Okay. We do so many cases every day. Nothing happens. Had to happen when yeah. we do a live case. <laughs> okay, I think the wire is curled up or what? No, it's okay. Hmm. No. Probably the guide. Okay, wait. It's still hmm. wrong. Okay, so always try to use this clip once. No, it's still, I mean the... I think the shape of the wire. Let's go over regular way. Good. Get that or 
same same Get thing yeah. neuro neurotor wire i think there might be a bend in the wire also hmm. good no, but let's go with the our okay yeah so we're going the same uh, repetition of what we did earlier uh, take 2 <laughs> any other questions and ask uh, our uh, uh, for the chat encourage our viewers uh, viewers to ask the questions uh -oh. uh, so this is the guide, also, guide as also. you can see uh, always the post valve cases whether it's a even with a sapien this is here but remember there's not enough room the usual uh, the, the torque which we do is affected so this is uh, uh, our lima guide we like actually lima guide quite well although it may be the better case uh, in this situation using the fr You want to go with FR? Mm. So we had a little trouble earlier also. Calcific vessel. Okay, now we are there. Mm, good. Yeah, advance. Okay, so this is okay. Yeah, so question was that do we need to go more support like implants, catheter, AR2, AL and so and so forth. Uh, but I think this is... Uh, uh, we felt uh, FR or Lima catheter. We actually do most of our RCA PCI using the Lima catheter, Lima guide. Give a little bit support and uh, less traumatic to the ostium and so. Good. Okay. Have the ro rotor wire? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Let me go distal. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Good. So this time we'll go directly with the dianaglide to distill down. So we try to show some so sorry, steps. We have to do rota a little bit there. When we are doing dyna, that's hmm. how the guide pushed back and everything came out. Yeah. So that we time. Do some rota in the proximal area. Okay. Not uh, dyna all through. So we are going to do. So part of that was when we are move, showing the demonstrating the advancement. The guide uh, came out and all the device came back. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a little rota of the proximal segment also, which is okay. So the idea is that it makes a passage, a little simpler. Yeah. Good. Okay. He has the slide. No, which one? The wire slide? Uh, we can put it up so we can show them. As yeah. They had some questions on the wire. Okay. All right. We are ready now. Yeah. Which wire? Which slide? Rota wire. Well, he may not have the drive slides. Hmm? He'll make it from the guide wire. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. Good. I still check the speed once again. Good. Go. Keep going. I'll pull the wire a little bit. Mm -hmm. No need. Leave it. Let's do rota all the way. I see guide is coming out, right? Hmm. Good. That's easier. Anytime guide comes out, we should do. The dianaglide is done, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, that uh, It's better to advance things on the dianaglide. Yeah. Good. Let's go further. Mm. And wire distally, you can pull the brake on and then pull back. Yeah. Okay, Good. now we can go. Yep. Ready? Mm. Break. Yeah. So it came out easier now. Okay. Guide now came out. Good. Okay. I think that's enough. I can advance the wire a little more. Go on dynamic light again. Mm. What are you doing? Okay, good. 
this side yeah this that a distal segment okay so now see no show that so we are going to increase show the hands that pull back the advancer knob and at the y connector advance the whole teflon sheath so now many times the guide will come out but at least we'll be able to give you some extra uh, room to advance the device distally good it'll jump now hmm. it is going to jump a little bit that's okay hold hold brake release hmm. oh she came back no yeah okay stop it good Okay. Yes, you have a question. Yeah, that's the while we let to do, do this mid segment. Yeah, this is the segment. The uh, guide engine through the valve or yeah. No, no, yeah, it's in the outside, outside. Wait one second. Twenty seconds. Yeah, twenty seconds. No, it is above. So the guide is little above. Okay. It's Break not in the valve. Break yeah. Release. Hmm. Why this is being advanced? The, yeah. the RPM is maintained. Yeah, because no, of Dyna. Dyna. RPM is seventy thousand. Yeah. About seventy thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Hmm. I think we cross through that lesion at this time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll we be coming out, and then we do the eyes. Yeah. Good. Go. Get me a run through wire. Yeah. We need another wire for the. Yeah, we'll get a fielder later. But remember, we may still have to do a two over. Oh. Yep. Okay, we can do divers on the. No, no, no. We'll hmm. divers on this one. Okay. Get divers catheter. Yeah, I will. The question is, do we upgrade the bar, and that we will decide. Yeah, let's see the pictures first. Mm. Hmm. So these are the usual challenges. Actually, pre as well as post. We wrote a paper in Jack. Uh, the whole coronary engagement, uh, coronary angiography, and made a tower catheter uh, app, uh, and with the new modification. So I think let's go with the wire because I was will not go in this wire. Okay, good. Remember the wire of uh, rota is little floppy. Point zero zero nine. So let's do uh, once we put a, our point zero one four. No, actually, I was will go on it except the guide engagement is a trouble. Yeah, that's and exactly it, I meant. Not otherwise. Yeah. It looked no, good. no, because of the at this time on this case, because the guide engagement. Needle. Because of the guide engagement will be the issue. So you need a little support, and uh, the wire itself is very. Now a lot of people say that we can do the stenting on the rotor wire, which can do. But problem is, if you have some tough cases, you got a trouble, some perforation, advancing the uh, our covered stents are much more difficult. So I always say, once rotor is done, you put your workhorse wire and then do all the work on the workhorse wire. Okay, ready to see. But let's see if we can move the gu guide a little better because we still have to take a picture. The what we did. 
Mm. Mm. Good. Okay. Can yeah, guide is a little better now. I think so. See, remember by advancement, the guide has become better. Sine? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not. with yeah. the support, support buyer, you know, yeah. it has given a support to the guide. Yeah. No, no, but the key is that if uh, what we need to, the once we put a balloon to dilate the PDA, which will be a 2.520 balloon and so, uh, then your guide will, will be able to advance the guide. So this we are doing it now basically more so for the proximal and distal segment uh, that to see if there is an obstructive lesion. We know severe calcium, but is there an obstructive lesion in the uh, proximal and distal segments? Yeah, this is the IWAS now. You can go to distal segment also. You want to go to distal? No. Okay. Hmm. Good. Go okay, to... put the IWAS on the main screen. Okay, that's distal. Hmm? This is a distal RCA. Okay. I, I start pullback. Yeah, start the pullback. We are in the distal RCA. Sure. Yeah, okay. like a lot of uh, uh, calcium yeah. and one big bunch. Yeah, like 360 calcium. Yeah, it looks tight. Look at the 360 degree. Yeah, and it looks tight. I'll check the area later. And the second bunch. There's also like 60, 60 calcium, but here area is good. Yeah, lumen is big. Yeah, I can see also the two wire. Yeah, flux more part. Yeah, yeah this lumen is big. Flux. Let's come to the mid area. Yeah. Oh, I okay. think here is uh, all the stent. Yeah, very short huh? stand. Here's only a, stand or the, calcium? There is no stand. Uh, okay, now this one. Yeah. This is also the native calcium, 360 calcium. Hmm. And some lunch. Yeah. But I think uh, put a bookmark there. Give us a cross section area. Sure, I, I check the tightest. Yeah, come to the plug small. Mm. But 360 degree calcium there. Yeah, like this part. Yeah. But I think lumen is big. You don't need anything. Here's also the uh, some lunch. More than four. Auto calcium, lumen is getting bigger. Okay, good. Yeah, I come to the guide. I stop here. So I check the tight. So distal area. Uh, is significant, but the mid, uh, so prox mid RCA looks uh, okay. Yeah, just just like uh, five millimeter from the uh, start of the pullback part is the area is three, the 360 calcium, and come to prox small. Yeah, I see some, it looks like stand trial, but mm. not, yeah, like here. Okay, come back. Yeah, okay. Come back. Come, clock, clock, yeah, lumen. Okay, here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay, this is lumen. Checked. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, a lot so of you calcium, don't need but area is more than four here. Okay. So we'll leave it alone. Okay. So yeah, we can, calcium, so what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to open the PDA with the balloon now, 2.520, and we're going to put a wire into the RPL. So it looks like, based on the, bookmark of the proximal uh, severe calcium concentric but there is a good lumen mm -hmm. correct no but that's the distal segment yeah that is distal ha. proximal and mid rca the lumen is uh, above 4 4.7 4.6 so. so we can remove the rotor wire after the balloon goes in and then once balloon is there then we are going to put our guide yeah good yeah Okay. okay. You want to bring the rotor wire out? I will. No, go up. Okay. Yes. Anytime when you advance the guide on the inflated balloon. Good. Mm -hmm. hmm? It still hasn't gone in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. The more and more patients, uh, uh, the post uh, uh, tower, Tavi, coming in and uh, uh, creating a challenge and particularly actually self-expanding. Okay, Can you imagine how difficult that will be now? Okay, go up there. Ready? Yeah. Okay. And of course, always you can use the guideliner or Godzilla to get a support catheter to deliver your devices distally without being a selective injection, a selective engagement. Okay, down. Okay. Let's take the rotor wire out. It's not serving any purpose. Mm -hmm. hmm. Knowing that we are not planning to do any rota of the proximal vessel, which is fine. But it was 215 or 215? Uh, this one was a 2.520 non compliant balloon. I want uh, a Godzilla. Okay. Get the Godzilla. 
Seven. Seven, seven. seven. Okay. Yeah. But let's put a wire in distally or no? No. Everything will come out. We need hmm. to stabilize the guide. Okay. So we are going to put a seven French because we have, it's a seven French guide. So seven French Gardzilla. And uh, because g g no matter what we are doing here, it's just at the proximal end of a upper frame of the tower valve. So that's what we actually published there also. Don't register, don't put too much. Yeah. That uh, don't put too much, uh, you know, pressure on the valve. Use this support guide extender catheters uh, to uh, do the purpose, like here. Okay, let's put a balloon here. Same balloon. Mm. Looks like ostium has so much chunk of calcium, yeah. not allowing the... Okay. So here, an orientation also. So now, we're going back with the same balloon we had. Guidezilla will go if the guiding is at least coaxial. Yeah. Right. Coaxial or balloon. Yeah. Absolutely. No, that's an absolute point. So our goal will be now to get the balloon there. And uh, then make everything coaxial. Remember, it's a coaxial. But because of the wall frame, some osteal lesion, it's giving us trouble. I knew this would happen. That used balloon Good. will have trouble. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Go. Hmm. Okay. We're going up now. Now see, now it will go. Yeah. Okay, good. Now it is correct. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So question was that many times because of the valve frame, as you saw that it's a little coaxial but will not advance until you have an extra body. And that is what we did based Go on here. this. Huh? Here. Yeah. The balloon and so. So every time we do some movements, the guide comes back again. But that's okay. Because we have the our, our guardzilla there. That's good enough to do our work. Okay, down. Hmm. I think the true lesion is still did not... Uh, yeah, distal lesion. Yeah, with the balloon. Okay. So, we can get a compliant balloon if need to be. We have to go wire distally. Wire is distal there. Let me advance this balloon again. Bring a 2.520 compliant also. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Okay, go up there. Good. Yeah. No, I think that's done. Question is how yeah. distal you want, right? No, this is good. Yeah, I think we did it now. Yeah. Okay. Sine, no, so that we can... Open it. Did not, yeah. see? Yeah, so just one second. So you saw that. Had not opened, although we got 1.25 bar. If need to be, we can go to 1.5 bar here. Now say that, can you get a... If you are having a trouble, yeah. So it's opened up. Now if we need to be, you can do a flex storm here. I mean a Wolverine. If need to be, right? That area. But it opened up now. So that is the whole that concept. Yeah. You see that now that nicely better. opened up. Yep. Do you have a OPN balloons also? The high pressure? No, balloons. we don't have that here. That we do not have. No, do you want a uh, yep. storm or just for place stand? No, but here, I think the PDA we should do, I still think we should get a 2.5 uh, Wolverine. No, uh, 2.75. Let's do 2.75. Huh? 2.75, no? Okay, so tell us what we need. Yeah, 275 Wolverine. Okay, 275 at that area uh, of which gave us a trouble. See this, just that area. I'm having, and I, I have feeling as this, we will have trouble there. Let's just put a stent like this. And open the distal also. No? Question is, you put a separate stent in the distal before the bifurcation, one in the PDA and one in the PL. Knowing that we are not doing anything proximally. PL, we may have trouble. Look at the calcium there, without rotor. Yeah, now actually <laughs> even PL looking more calcified, <laughs> right? I, I didn't was there. But anyway, let's go step by step. Yeah. Let's, and let's give handle this lesion first. Yeah, this is the most significant tricky lesion for him. Okay, Good. right there. Okay, this is a 2.75. Wolverine, yeah. Wolverine, yeah. And 12 atmosphere. So remember these one, you can go to high pressure. 
12 to 16 you want to pull the wire back a little bit uh, i want to leave it there yeah uh, good good okay go cool. yeah, and try to use synergy stand here okay. synergy there's a lot of uh, still 2.5 20 or 24 synergy okay go good there. yeah so what's that? Two five what? Twenty eight down. Twenty eight. Good down. You have to come up to the. Yeah. Now, okay. Uh, yeah, no, twenty eight will be okay. Two point five twenty eight. Are we going to go to RPL? Yes, we are going to the RPL. Yeah. Okay, go up here. Let's take a picture. Now, can we show the hemos by the side so people know that we have the Godzilla all the way to the distal RCA? Should be careful. Uh -huh. With the slow injections. Yeah, slow injection. No, no, don't open. I want to know the length. We're going to do a picture and then you open it. Okay. Okay, okay same. Ready? Slow injection, yeah. So, you can see there is uh, damping. Okay, good. Slow injection. So, we can decide on the length. Yeah. Okay. I think 28 will be okay. Then you're going to stand across? No, not later across. Later on? No, we, uh, yeah, that up, we can we, decide, yeah. The, there's disruption up to the ostium. Hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, are we going to uh, stand across the PLB? Yeah, so question will be, but after we put a stand and then we of course have to then kissing balloon. Give me a... We have our fielder wire. Let's put this. And then get a fielder wire is ready. Then 2512 balloon. Compliant. Compliant for the RPL. So this is clear that uh, so how helpful the Godzilla is. Good, good little die die mm. that we are distal good yeah okay, okay. so we are uh, one millimeter uh, away from the ostium this is a two five twenty eight okay. synergy yeah and we could a little distal no that. massage yeah, there is a disease there remember the lot of disease in this vessel do that as well. not go okay okay take a picture gentle now. Gentle injection. Good. That's fine. Okay. Okay, now we'll go with the fielder wire. Or do you want me to just go with this wire itself? What do you think? Yeah, we can go with this wire. Done with the PDA. Yeah. yeah. PDA is done. Yep. So question is put a second wire or the same wire. We go in and get the balloon. Because that's a big, those multiple branches, any one of them we need to save. And then question will be that do you put a, a cross or just do a before the bifurcation short stent. So this is the same, our run through wire. Hmm, good. So we removed the wire from the PDA. Initially we thought we will use a separate wire, but now we are done with the PDA. We use the same wire went into AV continuation to RPL. So yeah. now we'll try to dilate it. Yeah. And I think that... The compliant balloon, yeah. 2512. Yep. Let's see how it behaves. And I still think mm -hmm. that we should be able to just put a wire came back. No. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Fine. Yeah. That we can do a before the bifurcation. Uh, yeah. I think we'll look into that aspect. Okay. I knew this is what's oh. going to happen. Remember? I told yep. you that. Look at the calcium. Yeah. Before going into this. You need a 2 or 1.5? 2 <laughs> Or 1.512. You see that 2.5, 12 did not go. You want to get 1.5? Very calcific even. RPL is looking very calcific. Yeah, take a 1.5 first. That's why I was questioning, should we go behind this lesion, knowing how RP, R, I mean RPDA behaved? Despite rota, we needed a uh, Wolverine. 
let's get the opinion your yeah, opinion from our uh, uh, panelists that uh, will the, how much they will pursue the rpl should we then change it to a 1.25 bar again uh, for that also knowing that if this balloon does not go we have good support with the godzilla and if it does not go uh, they are and of course one thing you always can do the laser put the hands on the side please See, that's on the curve also. So that huh? calcified yeah. bend is yeah. going to be very bend. Yeah. Hmm. So, so I think it's to be good. Hmm. I would leave it. You want to go 1.25 bar? No. Huh? Not dilate here. Let's see. You know, many times I say that your nose has gone into the lesion, floor. Uh -huh. So try to see if we can. If not, then we get our, our fine cross. Ready and so if anything need to be done. Let's see, we want to get Godzilla a little more in this. Okay, I'm deflating. Good. Now see if we can advance a little more. It is it's a, it's a, a little better. Chunk of calcium. Right? Okay. I'm, I'm making that turn. Okay, I'm going up. Now you want to try one of balloon? Rupture, I think. Hmm? Stop. Done. So far is good. Yeah. You can see the chunk of. Better calcium. we go with the one to five bar. Like yeah. little space. Yeah. And particularly seven French Godzilla will take one point two five bar. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Because six French will not take, seven French will take. Or if you if you wish to still try to balloon it, you may have a buddy wire in one more wire support, and then the balloon might go. Let's take a picture, right? What do you want to? Buy? I think, <laughs> yeah. Let's have a picture and see because. Go so, uh, yeah. upper position, which makes it, or you feel this is comfortable. Hmm. You mean top branch? No, yeah. the top branch is more angulated. No, no, no. I think the bigger, in terms of area wise, this is a good one. Let's try. Two or twelve? Which one? No, we go with the one point two five bar with I the rotor. Am, I am actually inclined to leave it alone. Huh? I would not go behind with one point two five bar and all that. It's so distal. What's the other balloon try. you have? Um, one o. If you want to try one o balloon, yes, fine. One o. No, if you try one o no, balloon, other one point two five. No, but once we decided the intervention, I think it's okay to use a one point two five bar with a wire. And if you want, we can put extra support wire, uh, rota, extra support drive. Good. Okay. It's not a big vessel. Huh? Is it like a two o vessel? Okay, so now we are using 1.25 balloon. Let's see. I know they in India they I think they even have 0.75 balloon, right? We don't have 0.7. We yeah, have 1.0. <laughs> we do have 0.7. No, no. Yeah. Okay. So here. Okay. <laughs> Went a little bit further. Okay, dial it. Okay, going up? Yeah. Okay, go 20 and rupture it. That's how you deal with the 1.5. Rupture. Okay, it did not. Done. So that's a good sign. You want to go with the one point? Balloon same again? Okay, go up here. You have a one five push, no? You already have that one five push. We have. Yeah. We tried that one five yeah. push. Yeah. Yep. Yep. One no no good. Mm. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So no, this one without rotor will not, or other even laser will not go there. Yeah. So we saw the last picture. 
uh, decision point of view, very calcific chunk. We didn't realize that much calcium before. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about if the wire goes onto the top branch, right? Put a second wire at the body. The whole idea was, let's try. Put a wire into the second wire on the top branch. No, that I think, no, you decide. You want to... Hmm. Three options. Leave it alone. You want to do 1.25 bar or you want to do laser? No, laser will not go. With that, such I a think, calcium you know, distance. This one, it'll, we may go. Hmm. Okay. Uh, since you have the Godzilla down. What's All right, the, what? What's the decision? Yeah. What I, our panelists think about uh, the strategy? Look, I know Sanjeev wanted her to go with the 1.25 bar. Yeah. Let's try. Go. Okay, get us a rota extra support wire. Yeah. So this one we'll use a rota extra support for the distal. 90 plus percent we use the floppy. Now see that this can go integrate by itself. Good. You hold the wire and the uh, wire is stuck there anyway. Good. Okay. Won't go more than that. Okay, I'm taking this wire out. I don't know if the uh, extra support wire may go. Try to advance as much as possible because same thing, the rotor wire may not make that curve and bend. Good? Not making it. Hmm. That's fine. Just until they're good. Okay. okay. We're taking it out. Yeah. All right. So how much exercise we are doing with this small vessel always depends also. Okay, if the wire goes, we definitely give a go, trying that 1.25. Wire does not go, then it's just telling us. Leave me alone. Yeah. One second. One second. This. Yeah. Keep it straight. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. okay, good. It's better. Yeah. Wire is calling for a bar. Yeah. Wire is calling for a bar. All right. Okay. 1.25. I mean, this was the case today anyway. Idea to advance the this distal vessel, that how you can advance the rota into the distal branches. So that was the our prevailing uh, educational point was. And this actually really highlight to the extreme on that part. Same bar? Yeah. PCF a small vessel is always a bigger challenge than uh, in a bigger vessel. Yeah. Okay. A lot of exactly. money from the small distance. Back. Hmm. Other thing also, uh, I'm just thinking, for the PDA we used a floppy wire, maybe we should have used extra support wire for the PDA also. The way it was giving us a hard time. Right yeah. now, we have extra support wire to get this all the way down. So, we're going to, I'm going to show you the slides, the difference. But after we do the rotor yeah, here. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Go up. Okay, check the speed once again. Good. Leave it, leave it. Don't do anything mm -hmm. with the wire. It's in a good position with yep. the U-loop. And wire bent uh, made a loop is good for us. For the smaller branches, uh, uh, would you keep the same speed, 1,50,000 or... Uh, yeah, same. I think 150 is good. Yeah, that's, that's the lowest you can do. Lower than that, it does not ablate. I mean, it does not ablate well. Question will be, if you cannot cross, do you go to higher speed? That will be the case in this uh, angulated vessel will be. Will, is there Look at the guy. Okay. Length. So, we are going to go with the anti-grade on the Dynaglide. Go. Yeah, see? Okay, good. good. So, we advance 
on the break release on the end going forward not coming out going forward on the anti-grade dinaglide you have to see uh, uh, there's very little uh, length of the rotor left outside can you see yeah. yeah good okay we've done all that yeah good let's try hmm. give me a wire ready we have it ready run through oh now you see that uh, drop in rpm yeah pull yeah. back no yeah so i don't all, like that sound with a drop in rpm but uh, give the also the concept of the half rotor the you don't do the full legion rotor half rotor that's all we need we no need not to do any further because you know such a drop right. in rpm remember the live relay we did a uh, last time for nic we did a half rotor into the diagonal because that's okay what you do is you basically cut the interelastic lamina at that level and then you're subsequently you'll be able to crack uh, and advance your devices so what we are going to do now uh, right. we are done okay yeah we're done but i will hope everybody appreciated the fall the noise the change in the rp and pablo out called out it went down to 130 so it's telling us yeah yeah, yeah. So we're telling us, even ah, uh, even us. I mean, between the two of us having down thousands of rota, we would not. So we're very, very cautious in this. Blood pressure is okay because the biggest challenge at that time is perforation. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Get our so two balloon. We have when to stop. Compliant, not right? when to do. It's when yeah. to stop. Good. Me the why the What needle need needle. Yeah, so key, the, the concept of the half rota. Uh, oh, we have it, have it. So it's they are clear, and this is what we uh, I'm actually propagating that for last uh, one or two years. That don't worry about go to all throughout the legion. In a complex case, angulated case, just go half or three fourth, and that's okay. And then your subsequent work will be uh, will made easier because of that partial rotablation. again i think uh, underscoring the principle of flak modification yeah yep did you why we should have get me a new uh, run through because we should have watched it going up you want to no no field run through another run through then should watch it as you're going up hmm. let's see just Yeah, so always happens when you are go advancing these uh, wires or balloons uh, in from the guide extenders, uh, Godzilla guideliner that make sure you see you the movement of your wire. Go, uh, Doctor Trama. When you have this guide cell sitting for a longer time, you will yeah. maintain a higher ACT or is just it? Higher what ACT? No. no, I think as long as you're watching the pressure there, yeah. No, no, curled up again. Oh. Rotate the cardinal a little no, bit. No, 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 no. we exchange it for a fine cross yeah. because then yeah. so that's another one that could be cannot, yeah. they just go with the fine cross yeah we thought about that and that actually we will be our next step uh, get ready the fine cross will go back into the same and we exchange with the that may be even better approach okay. and i all you know we always go with the side by side but all that complex cases no this yeah we are good yeah good Okay, we are ready we with the balloon. Never took a picture. Hmm. Good. You want to take a picture now? Okay. We can take a picture now. Pressure is okay. EKG is okay. So gentle. Yep. Same. But that that's the important question that you asked about. Uh, you know, the big oh, vessel is closed. We also when that kind of a uh, RPM drop, we could have created dissection also. So when this uh, vessel is closed after you are done rotational atherectomy, you have a differential diagnosis. One is dissection, other one is slow flow. No. Okay, now it's not going either. Go up here.
This is two five. Two. Okay, go up again. Let me get the Godzilla down. Hmm. Or we get the same one point five balloon which we had earlier. Okay, down. Good. Down. No, not making a turn. I'm going up here. Okay. I think we still need to make one more balloon here. Get down. Get a one more balloon. Down, down. Okay. Now, other question could be the same with a fine cross. We go with the extra support wire go on the rota wire exactly so we know that we are in the same lumen of the rota which we did partial uh, ablation but anyway first we are getting no I mean extra support wire we put uh, what extra support wire grand slam or so to get the balloon there the always question comes that wire which we have put is it in the same lumen or separate? Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's see it now. This is the one-o balloon we are advancing now. Good. Okay. Hmm? Now to go on the other one and see. Yeah. If you think you're not, we are not in the lumen. Yeah. No, we may be in the partial lumen. So we take the rotor wire out. We take the exchange length grand slam. Take the rotor wire out. What rotor wire out? No, I'm saying the take the our the rotor wire is still there, which is in the lumen. So we keep that and uh, okay, run through is out, and we are going back with our over the wire system. So we have done the work. Uh, we should save this vessel. Okay. Good. I oh, will finish quickly. Let's okay. Ready with the tower. Okay. Hold it. Yeah. So key is the point. Once you have little dissection, complex case, it's better. You go back with your over the wire system. Same. Although it may not be able to advance because of the rota, it's a few, the thinner wire. Good. No question then is Grand Slam may not go in. You want to go run just through. run huh? through? Yeah. Or the wire run through. Okay. Okay, so went, went, yeah, went, 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 okay, went, 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 yeah, went, 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 Okay. Now we are going to go with the Grand Slam. It's like uh, you would have uh, used uh, any other or the wire. You know, you just... Uh, clock counter clock so you can advance with the fine cross also like you do with the corsair i think important point here is actually the half rota or the black modification has allowed the yeah. at least our device to go further balloon and so yeah good issue with the grand slam is uh, it can always spring back that's why do you see continue yeah. to see on the floor So we can lose ready with the 1.5 balloon, right? Easily. Yeah, 1.5 balloon. 1.5? No, 1.0. 1 1.0 huh? we never dilated. No? Yeah. Yeah. 1.0 we never dilated. Yeah, give me the 1.0. Okay. 1.0 is the sapphire balloon that we have. And then 1.5 which we have already. Get ready that. No, if 1.0 goes, I think we can try a new 2.0. Okay, Just let's see one, one oh first. Good. There's no point seven five. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay, good. good. Yeah. 19. 
That's why I thought no, maybe one a, point. No, is it one or two. is it Grand Slam? Both. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> get a two. Okay. No, it cannot be one alone because one o did not go earlier. Okay, then get your two o fifteen or twenty. Two o twelve. What is that? Okay. Okay, go up here. Okay, ruptured. Yeah, one o ruptured very commonly at twelve uh, atmosphere. Good. Oh, this one we did not. Yeah, that's fine. Ruptured already. Mm. So what it looks like we didn't die. Two o will go. Two o will go. Oh, he's having lot of chest pain. Uh, unless the maybe that small branch is gone now. No, no chest pain. Maybe from the cardiac also. Hmm. STs are going up now. That could be the once you rupture a uh, couple of air bubbles. Yeah. As soon as this balloon goes in, yeah. yeah. What is the ACT? Heparin or Angiomax? Go. Okay. Go. Keep going. This is two a balloon now. I think we should give up. Go up here. Okay. Yes, these are up. Okay. There's no disease there. Get the guy down a little more in. I'm worried. It's time to. And guide is coming out. Let advance the guide also. Good. Ready? I'm deflating. Mm hmm. Give up. Wow. Hmm. I think. Uh, what do you need? One point five. See that? I this still the one went in, but two or does not go. That's a uh, one five. Yeah, we have no, it. No, no, no. Push. Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, used, right? No, no, no. That's good. One five, you have? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's try this. This does not go. We we'll leave it. You have to make a decision. Yeah, no, no. That, that decision once, is very clear. Once, once ST elevation and patient is uh, riding in pain, yeah, we can be going along. More trouble. Yeah. yeah. This goes in. Otherwise, you know, at point, I always say that at some point you need to make a decision. We did try. The best scenario showed the use of uh, bar very distally using the extra support wires. And so, and we knew that it did not go all the way because of rapid drop in significant drop in RPM. Okay, it went a little further. I yeah. Think. Go up now. Yeah. Yeah. This is one point five. Let's see. It went in. Sixteen. Yeah. No. See, in crack. Rupture, rupture, rupture it. No, no, but one second, it will, it will crack. Yeah, it still did not. There's a tight lesion there. Hands to the side. Okay, give going up. up. Give up, give up. Down, rupture, down. rupture. Yeah. Okay, bring back the Godzilla. I think ST elevation having a lot of pain. Yeah. Good. So let artery relieve this. Take this one out. We'll decide what to do now. Mm. You will need some. Bring the Godzilla. Take the dye picture. Okay. Good. See there? Some die. Yeah. We have to put a distal stent anyway. Yeah. Anyway, at least the STs are down. Yeah, STs are better. Good. Take a one picture here. 
So if we put a distal see. stent. Okay, good. I don't know. Do you see it? I don't want to go see. No. Okay, you hmm. can see it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Good. Okay. okay. Vessel is open. back. Good. Put a short stand and then we'll be done and go further. 3 oh, or 3.25. 3 3.5, 3 5, sorry. But you have to put a cross. There's a disease in the ostium and so, no? Okay, then get us a 3 oh, 16. 3 oh, 16, yep. So we're stunting across. Okay, we put that and then we'll dilate and I know uh, it's a time for our lectures and so. But just to show, see we're back now. Uh, with the, our RPL back, moderate dilatation, which is okay, is still open. STs have good, got better, uh, no harm done, and we just put a stent in the distal vessel. Any other suggestions there? And after that is done, uh, we just take a picture across, and then I think we start our uh, lecture series. And uh, Rajnish, you'll take over, and uh, I'll be ready in about uh, 15 20 minutes when go back to my room. For continuation of lectures. Three five eight balloon. Yeah. Yes, yes, sure. So it's yeah. a good. Uh, so, but just wanted to say that we showed the point, uh, particularly advancing the uh, rota to the distal segments. But at the same time, we did not push further into the RPL because of significant drop in RPM. Because that's where you have trouble that maybe uh, can create a perforation. Good. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, once we deploy this stent, then we'll end our live transmission and we'll continue our part. Yeah, any uh, suggestion, any points no, for our point expert people? Wonderful for many aspects. First, you know, dealing a coronary through a tower valve, tower frame, I think that itself is a big challenge. So that you depicted very nicely the utility of guide liner and taking the guide liner deep so that it gives a very good support. So. Yeah. Those aspects were really productive. This is in the wrong branch. I think the key message here is actually the half rota, which uh, both of them nicely demonstrated because once the field was not good, when there is a pressure drop, how to, I mean, pull back like the stand a bit. Yeah, now go. This does not so drop long long at all. But then we should not kind of be over aggressive and then do create complications. Yeah. Put a torquer on this wire. And this does not move without torquer. So this is the grand slam. Grand slam. Those are very strong. Now the grand slam was in the AV to PDA in the RPL. We want the wire in the PDA. So that's why we have to get the wire in the PDA to stent into the PDA. But the grand slam wire does not rotate. Hmm. It may not be good. Okay, get me a run through wire then. We have the run through there, right? No, but then we we'll take this everything yeah, yeah, out. I know, I know, I know. Not even that. The guideline has to probably come out. Okay. Everything out. Okay. You guys go. I'll just stent it. Show the run through. Dr. Kinney, is there anything in the ostium? Just uh, uh, no, no, I know. Uh, I think there's a chunk of calcium there also, not allowing me to actually engage it better. Not just the tower valve. Although there was a calcium, but see that uh, on good reflux, we never saw. With the far guard. Other question is go with the JR. Six French, six French, yeah. Six French. Lima or FR? Okay, I'm there somewhere. This looks, this looks better, yeah. No. No. It's the same, the whole interaction of the valve frame. Okay, now. Needle introducer, yeah. I'm going to go with the six French now. Also, this guide is sitting there for a long time. It's soft. Huh? Lima? FR4, FR4 6 French. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this patient, uh, but remember this patient has a history of CVA uh, also. So we'll try to uh, use uh, less potent antiplatelet therapy. Definitely prasugrel will be contraindicated uh, in this setting. Uh, and the patient with the dialysis, they all have a higher uh, problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. PRU complication. Platelet. Yeah, go. Okay, so we are going back. Now we have removed all our equipment, catheters, patient is little better, less acid changes and now we are going That's, with... I think what was his issue was ischemia with the Godzilla. He was, uh, hmm. But I think the question raised was uh, did we need to do more ACT, uh, higher our ACT was on heparin, uh, on heparin was uh, 305. Uh, so ACT Good. we have about 290. Is PCI, but more important, like we show the hemodynamics, you can leave the Godzilla there. But if you think, if if we see some EKG changes, patient complaining in, I um, mean, complaining of pain, like he have, he started doing, that's the time we know your Godzilla has to come out. Okay. Will die. This is worse. Yeah. Maybe a no torque even. Okay, now there. We were able to get our earlier catheter very nicely, but that was the Lima guide. Yeah, 3D RC or no torque is available there also in India. So these are the kind of very good catheters. Lil Dai, maybe this is okay, then let's put a wire there. Yeah, yeah good. Let's, go let's put wire. a wire. Yeah. Done. Curve. Good. So we going back. I'm sorry for taking a little extra time, but I think this is, we wanted to just show some extra steps here. No. Good. This is, no. Okay, open the note torque. Uh -huh. Fine, good. Okay, so we got the wire oh, into the yeah. huh? guide. guide came out again. Yeah. yeah. Like. Not much support from the guide. Yeah. Get the note torque. Yeah. 3DRC, no torque. Okay. One second, one, three. Yeah. Go. You can show the hemodynamics again. EKG is better. Flush. One second. Okay. Good. Okay. We go in with this, yeah. Better. So we were able to get the wire earlier also, but but the problem there was uh, no support and guide kicked out. It's good, good. So now this guide sits a little better. Can you show the slides of the rotor wire side by side quickly? This actually is a much better guide. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> vessel you don't want to go to. Move the camera so I can see the vessel. Yeah. 
You got a balloon for that to support? No, no, no. It's good. good. That's fine. Leave it. Yeah, good. Okay. So here, now we are putting a 3 0 16. 3 0 16. Just show the, uh, oh, okay. Just show the uh, full. You want to show the guide, uh, our guide wire of the rotor? There's a guide wire app where you can, uh, you know, if you, are, you can download the guide wire app. There was this question about rota wires. Can you have the full fledged wire, just the wire? Yeah, yeah. Not that. The whole thing, more, all the properties of the wire. Okay, SS, come here, wait. Yep. Yeah, that's what it is. Good. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Go up. Go. Okay. Down. Eight millimeter. Uh, three five. Okay. Little further. Go. Go up again. Do two millimeter further. Anyway, one second. Okay. Down. Good. That's fine. Going. Forget it. Bring the guide back in. I think we are done. Hmm? What happened? The guide is out. I know. Out. Good. So let's just show it and then we go back up. Okay. So we just post dilate there. And uh, these are our rotor guide. I mean, guide wire app has all kind of ro uh, wires, including the rotor wires, and so. So, with that note, if everybody okay, we stop here. And uh, uh, Rajneesh and the, our team uh, panelists all we Sorry. start continue our lecture series. Sorry for a little delay. Yeah. We went 15 minutes above, uh, but thanks for. Uh, but just a lot of educational point. Uh, more importantly, that is still. Uh, as you can see the picture, can we show the last picture? We are going to get a better picture. So we are, uh, here play. That uh, our PL is fine. Don't go too crazy about it. Remain better. From 95% became 70% or 60%. PD and distal RCA is good. They are going to post dilate the proximal part of the distal RCA with a 3.5 balloon. With that note, we stop our live transmission and thanks everyone and all the interesting comments and we continue to ask our uh, in the chat questions anything else uh, they're asking they can uh, we can answer all the questions there